take three. I ran out of battery last time, so I have to start over. This is the entrance to my studio. This is my happy wall. Um, the two canvas arts are the pieces I made after taking Tracy Fancy's online class, which is still available. And the heart sculptures that are here are from Trey Art. Um, from Salty Dog Studios. You, I purchased them online. Um, they were kind of my inspiration for tying this all together and being my happy place. So in the dead of winter, basically when it's all snowy and cold and I need a little color, here we go. Right there in your face. So come on in and there's the full view. Swing on by here and here is my tool cart got a little bit of everything on there my mister my handy dandy mister um, I got my two shelves up I've organized my shelves this time according to color my paints um, instead of by brand so I have um, some of my older paints plus all my new Dixie Belle paint colors and stains and water-based stains and waxes all together I'm working on some of my spoons. I've got my craft table. I'm working on the current project with the sweater pillows. I did one yesterday. I'm going to do some more today, hopefully. Below, I have my storage bins with my paints, supplies, baby wipes. And behind it and along the side, I have sanded wood that I have ready for future projects. I am currently booked this month for requests. Um... I do have a list started for August if you're interested. Um, I do ship occasionally. Basically, it's the price of the project plus whatever I'm charged for shipping. That's all it is. Um, a couple wine bottles. I got plans for them. There's my easel I got from my mom and my first staging wall. I'm hoping that this won't be too difficult to move this stuff out of the way when I want to use this wall for staging for my mock ups or for showing off my completed projects. Um, I sell mock-ups online at Midwest Market Studio on Etsy and on, on my website, Melissa Peterson Designs. Um, basically, if you sell digital designs online, I uh, like to provide mock-ups for you so that way you can show your customers kind of what they might look like when they do their crafts. So. That's what that side's for. And my beautiful gothic window, which our house is full of. Um, and our old 1885 gothic house. There's two more little small bins of props that would not fit in my closet, plus a couple end tables I have for future projects. There's my second staging area. So lighting's not too good right now because I've got, I can't use my lighting, lighting fixtures right now since um, I'm moving around. I'd get tangled up and I know I'd trip. Here's my printer, my silhouette. Um, there's a big canvas I like to show off every now and then. I actually bought that at Hobby Lobby for like $5. I was planning on using it, like repurposing it and using it for another project and I decided I kind of liked it. So periodically I'll take it downstairs and display it and after a couple months I'll bring it back upstairs and put something else out. There's my other canvases that I have for future projects and a couple that I want to put up that I've completed but don't know where to put them yet. Uh, my vinyl for some of my requests I get. Okay, here's a couple signs I've made that I, one I have, one I believe is listed. Look what I made. I'm not sure about the other two but I'm going to list them. And then I have two of This Is Us. One's available, one is mine. I still gotta get a place to put for it. Um, some of Meryl's tools I gotta put back away, which I haven't done yet. Oh, and my favorite painting pants. I've got a hole in them that I wanna fix. And, cause I absolutely love these things. They're perfectly worn in, they've got paint all over them, and I love them. Here is a heart set that I completed that I have available online for sale. Of course the vase is in the way so keys to my heart with a key medallion and a key perfect for somebody's bedroom somebody who's not afraid of some bold color 
I've got some craft boxes. I'm planning on redoing this one. I'm not quite sure yet what I want to do, but that one's mine. The other two is called Be Kind and Let's Stay Home. They are available. I just got to get them listed. This is actually my first half heart I completed before I did the keys to my heart. That was an experiment to see how I could do. And uh, I loved it, so I'm keeping it. A poster I bought that I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it because I had plans for it and I changed my mind. More props. There's my closet, which is full of props. I took a picture of it before I shut the door, but I've added some more stuff to it. And I don't really want to open the door and show you what I've done. There's two of my key, my keys, two of my light sets that I have. Um, I do have them listed on my site if you're wanting a pair. Um, I actually, the benefits of both of them, I like them both. They both kind of do different things. One's a little bit stronger light, the other one's more of a softer light. The white one was a softer light. Kind of depends on what you need. Um, Piper's Kennel. Hopefully she's going to be outgrowing that here pretty soon. She's about two and a half. She's getting close. And more projects to do. And that will be my other staging wall once I figure out how I want to get this going. I got this set up so I can pull these out of the way when I need to and use this wall for photos. So let me know what you think. Yeah, Piper's fan's out in the hallway. She's got to have a fan on her because she's a hot-blooded girl. So my craft room, my studio, 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 studio. It's hard, hard saying that. Better organized. You guys have a great day.